Hey everybody, it's John here, and today we're going to take a look at how we can do a bulk find and replace in Power Query. So I've got a small list of data here, so I've got some job titles, and what I want to do is replace some of the, the uh, text in those job titles with some other text. So for example, here I've got investigator2-ig, and as a result, I just want investigator. So I basically want to find this little bit of text here and replace it with a blank string instead. And in fact, I've got a whole list of things I want to find and replace. So I want to find these items in my data and then replace them with these items here. Now to find and replace in Power Query, just going to go up to the data tab and create a from table range query based on that small data table. Now if I want to replace values, I can do that by right clicking on the column I want to replace values in and going to replace values and then just typing things in. So here I just want to replace the space and two capital I's dash IG and I'm just going to replace that with nothing in there. If I press OK then that replaces it there and I'm just left with investigator now. And when I do that I can see the step that's created in the formula bar. So I can see that uh, Power Query has created a step using the table dot replace values formula and then I'm just referencing my previous step here, which was a changed type step. So I changed some data types there. And here's the string of text that I want to find. And I'm replacing it with a blank string there. And I'm using the uh, replace text method. And I'm doing all that in the job title column. Now the problem with this is that if you have a, a long list of things that you need to find and replace, then that can get a little bit tedious. So you're going to have to repeat that uh, process each time for each thing you want to find and replace. So in this tutorial, we're going to take a look at building a query function that's going to do all that for us based on a list that we give it. So I'm just going to delete that replace value step. And I'm just going to close and load this table to the workbook. So into a table and we'll just put it in there for now. And we're going to build a query function that's going to use this table here to do a bunch of replace values steps in our query. So let's go up to the data tab and get data. And we're going to create a blank query, so from other sources and blank query. And let's rename this query. So right now it's just query1, and we're going to name it f bulk replace. And this is going to be how we reference our function when we need to use it. So let's remember that. And I'm going to go up to the Home tab and open the advanced editor there. And I'm just going to get rid of this stuff. And I've got the query written that I want, so I'm just going to copy and paste it from my text editor. And paste that in there. And so what this is, is a function that takes three different arguments. So we pass it in a table. So that's going to be our original set of data that we want to do all these uh, replace values steps in. Then we also pass another table which contains the list of our things we want to find along with the list of the things we want to replace. And then we also pass it a list of all the columns that we want to do that in. Now. This step here, what we're going to do is we're taking the uh, list or the table of things we want to find and replace, and we're just converting it to a list using the table dot two rows function. 
In this next step, we just want to count how many rows are in that table. So basically, how many things do we want to find and replace? And here, we're going to create a function within the function to do all this finding and replacing. And this function is going to take a table and an integer value. And that integer value is basically just going to be us iterating through each of the items in our list of things we want to find and replace. So here we got our table.replace values, and then we're passing it in that uh, data table. And then we're going to find the first item in our list in the first column and replace it with the first item in our list in the second column. Again, we're using uh, the replacer.replace text method. And we're doing this in the columns that we have passed in our function. Next, we check to see if we're at the end of our list of find and replace items. And if we are, then we just return our table. And if we're not, then we iterate and evaluate the function again with the next list item of things we want to find and replace. So I'm going to click on the Done button here. And that's gone and created this function here. So it's got those three parameters here. And before I go ahead and use this, I'm just actually going to have to import my find and replace table. So I'm just going to close and load this. So I'm just going to select that table, go into the data tab and from table and range. And I'm just going to close and load that as a connection. So I'm just going to create the connection and press OK. And I'm going to go back and edit the My Data query. So right click and edit. And now I can use this bulk replace function on my data. So to do that, I'm just going to click on this Add Step button next to the Formula Editor bar. And I can add in my function. And then the table I'm going to reference is just going to be the previous step in my query. So for me, that was a changed type step. And then I'm going to reference my find and replace table. And then I'm going to create a list that contains the column headings that I want to do this on. So for me, it's just one column heading. So that's job title. And I can close that function and press this little check mark to enter it. And as you can see, that's gone and done all those replace values based on my list. So I can go and close and load this. So I've done a bunch of replace value steps on this column here based on this table and I get this clean set of data as a result. So that's how we can do bulk find and replace or replace values in Power Query. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more videos like this in the future. That's it for this video. We'll see you guys in the next one.